Hey, this is Matt from Investaquant. Today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2022. Today is the second trading day of the month of July. And that's what we're going to be looking at this morning is what's happened on the second trading day of the month. And we'll put it in a weaker market environment to uh, mimic what we're in right now. So let me go ahead and get this set up, grabbing all four instruments. Our setup will be long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. For this study, we're going to use uh, two pieces of information. I'm going to skip over. I always use an opening filter, but for this one, I'm going to skip over that today and just focus on seasonality and market environment. So I'm going to go down to the indicators library. I'm going to say that the prior session closed below a 200-day simple moving average. I can grab that from the active today down here. It says we closed below 200, so if I click it, it is added to the test. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the calendar library, and I'm going to grab the unique day day after first day of the month that's available here in the active today or unique day category right there either way will get us uh, what we need the day after first trading day of the month and then i can click view results all right here we go these are the results based upon entering the market long at 9 30 a.m eastern time exiting at 4 15 p.m eastern time when it's the second trading day of the month and the first trading day of the month closed below a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, we've got 48 samples in the S&P dating back to 2003. We've got 47 here in the NASDAQ, 59 in the Dow, 70 in the Russell. Win rates on these are mixed. We've got S&P, the strongest of the group. Two out of three of them historically have closed above the opening print. For the NASDAQ, it's 57%. For the Dow, 56%. Russell, 50-50 here uh, exactly in the Russell. If we look at the average moves, S&P average win larger than the average loss. That's also the case here for the NASDAQ and the Dow. The Russell is pretty similar in size, so not a, a much larger win in either direction, uh, win or loss there. Three of the four, though, have larger average wins. All of them are at least 50-50 or better, with the S&P being the strongest of the group. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.